I'm Zendaya. I'm here with BuzzFeed, and today I'm going to be playing with puppies. Are you joking? Oh, oh my gosh, they're so tiny. Hello, hello, come here, come here. Take your time. Take your time. Get in here. Hello. Here. Let's be safe and warm. Come here. Come on, sweetheart. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Where'd you go? And you can come over here. Make sure everybody's comfortable. Hello, thank you for the kisses. They're so tiny. It's like, I want to be so careful with their little bodies. It's such a special experience, I think, being able to shoot in the places that we got to shoot and be with the incredible actors that we got to be with. So every day I just felt so lucky. I'm just very nervous, I think, too, because like, okay, okay, do you want to go? All these heavy hitters and you want to be like good and no matter what you always kind of have imposter syndrome a little bit like you always feel like you're just like am i even good enough to be here so trying to also just enjoy it too Hello. oh you want to come back now okay a lot more than the first time <laughs> which is really special i think the first time i had so much fun i was only there for a week i just got like a taste of it and i was like oh man i can't wait to come back we were shooting the finale of euphoria season one and i was literally in the middle of shooting that and then i ran off i did dune and then went back to Euphoria, which was so crazy. I loved working with Denny so much. Everybody was so welcoming and it was such a warm set, even though like I was just jumping in there in the middle. <laughs> okay, careful, you two, careful. Split it up. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. And these two are going at it. Y'all can't decide if you wanna be outside, inside. What y'all want? You wanna bite? You wanna play? You wanna lay down? And these two are just like, I'm just trying to nap. Like, I'm just trying to chill. Hmm. Huh. Well, there you go. You're gonna start whining again, that's what it is. I love Lady Jessica because she's terrifying. And I think Rebecca is so brilliant at bringing that character to life. When she uses the voice and all that stuff, I just, I find it so fun. You can't jump on top of everyone, honey. You gotta share. I also think that everybody secretly wants to be Fade Ralpha too, because it just seems like such a fun character to play. Actually, the first day that I got to set, I was watching them and it was a scene between him and Stellan. It wasn't my first time meeting Austin, but it was very like, whoa, hey, <laughs> you know, it's like he was so nice and approachable, but obviously the hair and makeup is a little intimidating. So there's lots of contrast. Come back. I know it's okay. Just come back. Come back. <laughs> yes, I had like a lot of downtime. I would often, at least in Budapest, I tried basically every restaurant in the in the area. And then I'm one of those people that once I find something I like, I eat it every day. They're, they're little sounds, I can't, I'm sorry. I just want you to be happy. Ooh, I got the spot right there. That's the spot. Yeah, that's nice. It was amazing. It was so much fun. She shouted me out the end. <laughs> No biggie. Are they all siblings? How old are they? They're about seven. No way. I wish I had more hands, cause I want. I know you guys all want to be held. I get it. But you, you've been quiet the whole time, or you, you're the little one. They like picking your favorite children, you know, or your favorite puppy. They're hard to pick. I would say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We did Joan of Arc for the Met one year. That was one of my all time favorites. I did this butterfly dress for Greatest Showman a long time ago. That was one of my favorites still. Tom Ford breastplate was really fun. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, you like that one. I know. Me too, me too. I like it too. When I was younger, there was quite a few Disney like pilots that I auditioned for. 
before Shake It Up, but they all ended up either like changing their name and becoming like a different show or they didn't make them or didn't end up making them. I think all the kids for like this that are my age from that time, like we all audition for them, you know what I mean? Which is actually really lovely. I mean, many of them got their own shows and everything, which is lovely. So I feel like if you don't get the role that you really wanted, there's always a reason and whoever it was meant for is who it was meant for. So you always gotta try to rem remember that. So I, I honestly try not to remember the one that never happened because they weren't for me, they were for someone else. Oh, 10 years, my gosh. Time is, uh, time is moving. I would say, yeah, I mean, I love music and I think it's something that you wanna come in here, come on. That I just do for myself, meaning it's very like personal and I haven't done it in a long time. I only really do it for Euphoria or have done it recently for Euphoria. So, I mean, I would love to, to get back and be creative again and see what music comes out of me. Cause I love music and I love that outlet. Maybe, maybe one day, I don't know. I want to say that I get made fun of because I am not on TikTok. So like my my friends and my younger nieces are like, they're recycled. You're just sending old videos. Come here. As of quite a while, I've been trying to spend less time on the internet and read <laughs> and do other more productive things. So I haven't been doing it so much. Oh, ow, your teeth are sharp. Well, puppy teeth are like needles. Careful. Squaring up. Okay, put the paws on you, okay. All right. Oh, who's the last person I sent a meme to? Um, <laughs> probably Tom. Yeah, He's, he gets the, the most of it. I don't, oh, 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 okay, you did not like that. You did not like that, I know, it's okay. My dog is gonna be so mad. He's gonna be like, where were you? Like, what do I think about, oh, yeah. Other than at this moment, it's puppies this is all I'm trying. I just want to make them happy. I don't know. I think whatever I'm stressed about. <laughs> I think my Roman Empire is just thinking about all the like very cringy videos of me when I was like a child that are on the internet. It will never go away. And you never know when they're gonna just pop up. You know, people are gonna use them. And my deep fried Instagram pictures, you just never know. Yeah, it's like jump scare. I was a Disney kid, y'all. Like, there's gonna be a few videos that are gonna haunt me for a long time. But it's all right, you know. We got, we all gotta start somewhere. The one picture that does haunt me, though, is <laughs> is this picture. It's a different time, guys. Well, I thought it was cute to have like uh, one heel and one like sneaker, and I was like, ooh, like best of both worlds or something like that. Or, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. It was cool at the time, okay. That's what the kids were doing. I thought I was being cool, so that's what I was giving. You know what? I don't regret it. Uh, me. <laughs> Hello. I don't know. Riz is short for charisma, right? Everybody's kind of got their own. I think someone who has beautiful charisma, not on the Dune cast, but I personally, works for me. It's Mr. Tom Holland, so. No, definitely him in the sense that like, I'm, I'm more shy and like kind of quiet. So it takes a little bit more to like pull me out of my show. But he's great at just like talking to people and getting to know people. And like you see him on talk shows and stuff like that. He's just naturally very good at that. Whereas for me, I've, I've definitely had to like <laughs> pull it out of me a little bit. So he's got that natural gift. You got the shy ribs. Yeah, yeah. If that's a thing. Both my parents are teachers. My mom, she's taught fifth grade. And I think that I would be a good like elementary school teacher. Come on, I know it's okay, my love, it's all right. Come be with your siblings who have now chilled out and are taking a nap. And you're still going. You're still, oh, you're still going. Yeah. As you can see, I got away with kids. <laughs> Candles. I love candles. I heard they're not really great for you, chemical wise or whatever. I'm not sure. I just feel like, you know, burning fragrances in your house, probably not great, but I love them. They get the vibes going, they smell delicious, and they make everything feel homey. So, you know, nice, good candle for me. To be honest, I, I think I'm very like scent specific in the sense that like certain things like make me have a headache like right away. Like if I smell it, I'm like, ooh, I can't, I can't smell that for too long. So I like, more like mint 
and lavender and things like that. Things that you can keep smelling and it'll probably not hurt your head or anything like that. Oh, you're disrupting the piece. Okay, we can make a little room for you. Like, a little headrest. Like, I have certain family members that, like, my sister, she'll call me and I call her back and she never answers. I'm like, what is that about? It's the same with my mom. It's like, you just blew me up and then I call you back. Nothing. Silence. Oh, I'm busy. I believe you called me five times before this. I always find that that's my case. I'm also a FaceTimer. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I'm a straight to the FaceTime. I don't need a call. I don't need, you know, I just want to see your face. Get right to it. I want to send a text. I want to see your face. Modern day, you know, people don't always like to answer their phones. <laughs> know if I have like I'm trying to think people not answering FaceTime. People not answering right or people having a problem with it. I'm like, get over it. Show. <laughs> That's what my little nieces do that drive me absolutely crazy when they don't put their, their face in the camera. I'm like, I know what you look like. I've seen you since you were born. Gosh, I'm like no it's fine. <sighs> okay, I'm behind on the bear. I know. I know. And they just sweeped which is amazing because I think they have a wonderful cast and they're all super talented. So I'm gonna get back on it. I think probably tonight. Coolest thing a fan has ever given. Can you breathe in there? I just wanna make sure that like you're breathing. I've seen some beautiful fan art and they've given to me in person, which has been really beautiful. Like they'll give me like these books where they like a group of fans will like write sweet messages and things like that, which is nice. It's almost like having a scrapbook from them and I keep those. I don't know, it's just sweet letters, things like that. I, li I think it's all very, very lovely, so. I think I'm always surprised because you make things and you don't really expect that anybody is gonna like actually see it or connect to it or whatever. You know, you, you're just inside of it. So when you meet people and they compliment your work or they say that it meant something to them or whatever, it means a lot, um, especially when they're in your same field. I think it's really cool. I think my honestly most honorable moments are when people like, just people I meet anywhere, literally, my waiter at a restaurant told me this beautiful story about how they personally connected to Euphoria and, and their family. And those things I think mean the most to me. Uh, I feel like I'm the most honored by those. Honestly, I would go to the mall. Like I miss going, just going to the mall. Like I used to just like be, I feel like every like middle school or whatever, you live at the mall. Like you just walk around, you, you're at the food court, you're going to the movies nonstop. Like you're just chilling and I haven't really been able to walk through a, a mall aimlessly. I don't know, I would say, you know, Spider-Man just because it would be cool to have like live in a city where Spider-Man exists, it would be cool. But also like causes a lot of problems. So I don't know if that's really the best thing for me. Thank you so much, BuzzFeed. This is a dream come true. These little beautiful puppies are ready to be adopted and need a home. Make sure you go to Pup Culture Rescue and give them some love. And yeah, go watch Dune and Challengers. Show that in there. <laughs> this is amazing and I don't think I should move because they're asleep. Next, next interview? <laughs> All right, what's next? <laughs>